All right. Um, here we're going to be evaluating uh, each expression, uh, which is originally found in scientific notation. Um, looking at um, the first problem, we see here we have 7.2 times 10 to the minus 5 times 4.5 times 10 to the third. Uh, my strategy for simplifying this is to take the two numbers, um, 7.2 and 4.5, and multiply those two together first. So uh, multiplying 7.2 times 4.5, 4.5, I get 32.4. So we have 32.4. And now I'm going to take the 10 to the minus 5 and the 10 to the third and multiply those together. When the bases are the same and multiply each other, we add the exponents. So this becomes 10 to the minus 5 plus 3, which in turn now we get 32.4 times 10 to the negative 2. In scientific notation, uh, the number that's multiplying 10 to some power, uh, which we'll call x, this number has to be less than 10 and greater than or equal to 1. We can see here that this does not meet that criterion. So what we're going to do is we're going to rewrite 32.4 as 3.24 times 10 to the first. If I were to go 3.24 times 10, I get 32.4. So this is actually just taking this number and rewriting it so that the number here is a number between 1 and 10. And now we'll bring down our times 10 to the minus 2. And just like we did up here, we're going to multiply these two bases uh, together and by doing that we're going to add their exponents. So here we have 3.24 times 10 to the 1 plus negative 2 which is 3.24 times 10 to the minus 1. And that's our simplification for our evaluation of our first expression. Alright, so going to our second one let me go ahead and um, draw a little line here to distinguish between the two. Okay, so going to our second one. Um, here I have 1.7 times 10 to the 5th divided by 3.4 times 10 to the 9th. Well, I'm going to look at basically is, first of all, working on 1.7 divided by 3.4. So doing that, I have 1.7 divided by 3.4, and I get 0.5. So 0 0.5. And now I'm going to look at dividing these two bases of 10. And when the bases are the same in dividing, we subtract the lower the exponent of the denominator from the exponent of the numerator. So this becomes 10 to the 5 minus 9. So I have 0 0.5 times 10 to the negative 4. Now, just as before, um, you noticed here when I moved um, the decimal one place to the left, uh, this created a 10 to the 1. Here I'm going to move the decimal to the right one place. So this becomes 5 times 10 to the minus 1 times 10 to the minus 4. Okay, so and to prove my point, if I were to go 5 times 10 with an exponent of negative 1, I get 0.5. So this is simply rewriting 0.5 so it meets the definition of scientific notation where this number has to be a number between that's less than 10 and greater than or equal to 1. And now I'm going to go ahead and multiply these two um, powers uh, with the bases of 10. So I add these exponents, and my final answer here is going to be 5 times 10 to the negative 1 plus negative 4, which is 5 times 10 to the minus 5. 
So that's my answer for the second expression. Evaluating it, I should say. Okay, let's do another line of separation here. All right, and now going to the third. Here I have 7.8 times 10 to the eighth times 2.8 times 10 to the 11th. So we're gonna do just as we did in the first expression. We're going to multiply these two together. So I have 7.8 times 2.8 and I get 21.84. 21.84. And now I'm going to multiply 10 to the 8th times 10 to the 11th. And again, when the bases are the same in multiplying, we add the exponents. So 8 plus 11. So this is 21.84 times 10 to the 19th. I'm going to take this 21.84 and write this in scientific notation. So this is 2.184 times 10 to the first. Okay? And then I add on the 10 to the 19th. So now my numbers between, my first number is between 1 and 10. And now I'm going to go ahead and multiply 10 to the first times 10 to the 19th. So I have 2.184 times 10 to the 1 plus 19 to arrive at 2.184 times 10 to the 20th.